Tonight we're going to be starting uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, I love this game. I I think I got this when it first came out a while ago, a long time ago. Uh, I just remember playing it and falling in love with it. I, I like the Yoshi's Crafted World games too, the Woolly World and stuff. Uh, this one came out before all those and it's uh, still a beautiful looking game. It's been a long time since I played it. I'm going to try and get through it. I know there's like some Christmassy levels. At some point in the game. It's kind of why I'm playing it this time of year. But there is another Wii game that we'll play. Here in December. That's completely Christmas themed. So I hooked up the Wii tonight. And we're going to get going. There's my old file. Uh, go to file 2. Okay. Not a terribly long game. Not a terribly hard game either. Just a fun one. Very chill. If you haven't played this game. It's a treat. Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom Dreamland. of peace and quiet. It's the perfect little land, if you like that sort of thing. Sure. Lately, there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around turning people into yarn. Right. <laughs> yarn. Yarn. One I love Kirby. Kirby saw his favorite food hey, what's up, Yvonne? Red Welcome in. There's many people here. Down the hatch. But when Kirby tried to eat it, I made some coffee. It's freezing right now. Sorcerer appeared. My name is Hey. What are you doing? Stop that! No, <laughs> that's my magic metamato. Metamato. the metamato right down. Just then, a white Kenneth is always calling you Kirby. <laughs> hey, that's a compliment. Kirby's great. I know you have the little Kirby like, what is it, the charger thing? For your phone or something? Or your headphones? Right? That's you that has that, right? Man, I haven't played this game in so long. The AirPod case. Yeah, that's yeah, the AirPod case. That's Kirby, yeah. So this is basically a game about Yvonne. Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn boy. Somebody help me! Listen to this voice acting. It's like the same guy is doing every voice. <laughs> I wish I could transform into things like Kirby. I was gonna wear the, the hat, but I think we're just gonna leave it on, on here. The lights are starting to dim. I need new batteries for that. Yeah. Alright, let's get on with it. I don't really care about the story in these kind of games. You just want to play and enjoy. This is such a just chill freaking game, man. This is taking me back. It is a two-player game, too, if you want to play two players. Each world is, like, themed, too, so it's really cool. Play Christmas music. <laughs> Actually, I know how to play Silent Hill, or not Silent Hill, Silent Night on, um, on guitar. And I used to know how to play, uh, Silver Bells and Oh Holy Night as well. I don't remember those, though. Oh, ring the bell. There are Christmas levels in this game. I don't know if we'll get to them yet tonight, but there are Christmas-themed levels. Alright, let's go into Patch Castle. This is the first level... So, here we are, everybody that might be here, if any other than Yvonne is here, yeah. This is like a tutorial thing. Some of these levels you can kind of just get through really fast. So everything looks like yarn and stuff, obviously. Kirby's epic yarn and you like, at the freaking, you can pull things, zippers, buttons, make yarn balls, throw them at people. There's all sorts of secrets around, too. The music is just, like, super festive, and... I just have, like, Christmas vibes whenever I play this game, so... The Existential Crisis, what's up? Hey, that's, um, that's Kenneth. What's up, Kenneth? You're here, too. 
How are you? I mean, this is like, we got a chandelier. There's like little pins or something. There's like collectible pins, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure this is mostly just a tutorial level, so I'm just whipping through this as fast as I can. And yes, you can like float if you hold in the jump button. This is a game about Yvonne, so this is her story. Her origin story. There we go. King's Throne. Yeah, you can smash things. There's some of those classic Kirby noises, too. Uh, the jewels are just like, like a score, more or less. And then you get like music for the levels. Pretty awesome. I mean, look at these holiday vibes here. You've never had a chance to play a Kirby game yourself yet. Yvonne is Kirby. <laughs> now you should play one, they're fun. They're like, a lot of them are pretty like easy, but. There's a new one coming out. Probably like next year or something. And this is like classic Nintendo Wii here. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, this game must have come out like 10 years ago or something. Let me see. I think I stole my receipt in here from Walmart. Yeah, 2010. So, my goodness, this game's more than 10 years old. What's up, GDP? How you doing, man? You still at work, probably, man, right? Thanks for your help, Blue Yarn Boy said. Blue Yarn Boy. They could have come up with a better name. A oh, Prince Fluff, there you go. Again, they couldn't come up with a better name. Prince Fluff. But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked. Yvonne, you should uh, call um, Kenneth Prince Fluff. Kirby and Prince Fluff. Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most There's a lot of Mario vibes with this for sure. Yeah, it's uh the original Kirby on Nintendo uh, NES is a really good game if you ever get a chance to play it. It's really like old school but easy. And this one's great too. If anybody has a Wii, you can get this game. I don't know how expensive this game is now. Four hours and 50 minutes to go. The countdown is on. Darth, have you, uh, have you played this game before? Or any of the Kirby games? I don't know if you're into the Kirby games at all. I've played a lot of the Kirby games, but not all of them. Just like bits and pieces of most of them. So that's Patch Land. We need to get all Patch Land back together. It's like jazzy piano. I wish I could play piano like that. I hope my notifications are working tonight. They were not working last night. It looks like the new activity notifications came up. Not that one, but I own a few. The OG and the 3D one on the Switch and Pinball. Oh, Kirby's Pinball, sweet. Yeah, the OG one on NES is, is great. That's, uh, that's another vibe there. All right. All right. I don't know if we'll play. I don't know if we'll play this the entire night, but we're gonna at least start it up. So Patch Plaza is that the next level? I guess. What the heck is going on? Is this dude Lord Kirby? You say. My name is Dom Woolley. <laughs> it's my pleasure to make your acquaintance. All right. What is this freaking guy? I don't even remember this dude. He's the manager of Quilty Court. I gotta go to court, I guess. I don't, I don't remember this. Apartment 101. They come out with a new one. Yeah, I can't wait. It's like a, it'd be like a Mario one, like super 3D platformer ish. Dude, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I can't wait to try it. Definitely gonna interest me because all the Kirby games that have come out recently have all been like, 
you know, they, they've done the 2D thing to death with Kirby. I'm looking forward to playing like a 3D platforming Kirby game. Change the layout. What? Oh, that's right. So this is actually kind of cool. So this is where you can like... All like the stickers and stuff you get, you can actually decorate this apartment. So I think if you go to here, go to change layout. And you point the Wii Remote at the screen. And then you pick like an icon. Say if we got... So, you know, you can do like the wallpaper. You get different fabrics. Say we want like this starry one. I don't even know if we have any, to be honest. Oh, we don't have any. Or do we? Oh, wait, we do have. Yeah, as you can see, there's like different. We only have these two different patterns there, so... And then you can kind of, like... Decorate. So we have, like, a chandelier. We could put the chandelier in here if we want. Like... Put it, like, up there. Whatever. So, that's pretty funny. So the stuff you collect... I forgot about this, yeah. You just kind of put it in there if you want. There's a classic Kirby noise. Alright. Alright, so this is just like the town, the tutorial area. Now we're going on to the first actual set of worlds. And it's grassland, of course. It had to be. Fountain Gardens. Listen to this music. <laughs> this is probably like, this is probably the most peaceful game that you'll ever play. Like, honestly. Like, this could, like, calm down like a demon, probably. <laughs> Even a demon would be smiling at this game. Even the Grinch. <laughs> he made a squeak noise like a dog toy. And then I killed him. <laughs> now I kind of feel bad. Let's grab that. Oh, there's like a monkey. Throwing gems. Nice, I'll take more of those. This is kind of like a remix of like the original Kirby music from the first levels. Little snowman. Also kind of sounds like the 12 Days of Christmas song or whatever. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's get these out of the way. Sorry, buddy. You could pull, yeah, you like pull on buttons and stuff to like create platforms and paths. And there's a little collectible thing. Ooh, Let's see what's up there. Play some Kirby and then Doom Eternal. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good contrast. I love that game. Doom Eternal was so good. It was really, it was difficult near the end, but man, that was a, that was a fun game. It's like, it's like my music taste, like I'll listen to like, Backstreet Boys and then I'll go over to like, Slipknot or something. <laughs> it's like, why not? Zipper. <laughs> Don't know exactly what that accomplished, but I think is there water down here? Oh yeah. There's just Hey we got a fountain for our apartment. And these are like transformation areas that like take you behind 
to a secret area. I don't even care about getting all the gems. But how do we get up over this? Oh, actually. We might need to go in there. There we go. Oh, look at these two. Sleeping on the job. Much like myself. And this is a real transformation. Now we have to like tilt the the Wii remote here. Yeah, so you're still holding it sideways, but like how you hold it, it's like I don't know. It's one of these stupid Wii controller gimmicks. This would make a pretty fun shmup. <laughs> oh. Alright, now we have to. <coughs> Gosh damn. Oh, don't you shoot them rockets at me. Punks. Get out of here. And then you go here and you turn back. <laughs> and then it's all peaceful again. There's another classic Kirby noise. So hopefully we can... Uh this game shouldn't take super long. I assume maybe three streams out of this game to beat it. And then, um, like I said, there is another, there is a Christmas game that I want to play for the Wii. Not this one. You make a patch and then it just like opens up the next world. So we have flower fields next in grassland. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's the same music. Yeah, this is like a I mean, look, this game still looks really good. Is it too bright, actually, on the, um... I think it's a little bit too bright for you guys. Maybe that's just the way my PC looks. I'm gonna turn down the brightness. Still just a smidge in there. There we go, should be fine now. Because my brightness was up because of playing, uh... Some N64. Look at the little button flies or button bees. They get creative. Oh, look at that. That's cool, too. I want that. <laughs> I love how, like, How cool they got with some of the things in this. Look, there's like a little frog with like, it's raining now. They got, uh, the Yoshi's uh, Crafted World is a brilliant on the Switch if you guys, if anybody hasn't played that game. Oh my gosh, so fun. Yoshi's Woolly World, another good one for the Wii U. That's just like these. 
But this kind of stands out as its own little Kirby game. I don't know if they ever made any Kirby games that were like this one. Like this, this style of art. I don't think so. I'm kind of glad this didn't get a sequel or anything, so it can just be its own thing. There needs to be a blood and gore mod. <laughs> the Kirby... The Kirby Mortal Kombat uh, mod. Imagine that. Blood spilling out with all those little things I crush. Oh, or a UFO. No. Oh, get it. Little things like this just to kind of break up the gameplay. take all the gems. You're gonna get abducted! You better call M Scully and Mulder. More button bees. And if we uh, do that... I need my electricity thing to come back so I can break these blocks over here. Oh shoot. There we go. You have a ton more art. You never saw all of it. Gaming related. A lot of portraits, landscapes, and more. Oh dude. They do landscapes too, huh? Those Dead Space ones were really sweet. You do about one a month, you said, right? We didn't get any of the treasures, I don't think. Oh, we did. You found the alarm clock patch, right? Yeah, roughly about one a month. Yeah, that's a pretty good pace there. Especially for things like that, that are so detailed. Oh dear, what a pickle, what a pickle, what a definite pickle I'm in. <laughs> okay. Prince Fluff. What do they need now? I want to go to the next level, I don't want to help this guy. <laughs> I can't seem to find any tenants who will move into my new building here because you don't have any furniture. Sounds like a side mission, like find those items and put them in this building for him. Which I don't think we even have any of those. So goodbye. Back on the grassland. Yeah, I think like the Christmassy levels come like much later in the game. But there's a lot of awesome areas. Like the bear is waking up from its hibernation to create another level. Rainbow Falls, okay. I mean, you can 
see how like easy this is so far. I, I'm sure it gets a little bit more difficult later it goes, but it's just like a very fun experience to play a chill game like this. Crushed. Oh shoot, and I just died. <laughs> takes away your gems. Oh no, I died again. It's like Sonic, you kind of need gems to stay alive. Kept like falling down there. Here we go. There we are. Maybe I can get back over here. There we go. Oh, look at the alligator. That's cool. Not today. Oh, shoot. I guess today. Indeed. <laughs> Soundtrack. Slaps. Look at the shower curtain, that's funny. I'm gonna take away your umbrella. Umbrella. Oh, shoot. Can't get up there. Ooh. <laughs> Everything just sounds so Christmassy with the music for some reason. Like a treasure up there I can't even get. Oh my gosh. Wow. Kirby has like a dead jump when you're not have any have like no momentum at all. Like so. You can't turn into a little puffball like you can in like the other Kirby games. You just do this like parachute thing. But you're always like falling. Outdoor bath. Oh my goodness, what is... <laughs> Come on, pick up the pace, Kirby. There you go. Oh gosh, you just keep jumping? Be looking more like King DDD right now. Hey Dalton! Good evening. Wouldn't it hop in the shower and he'll be back? Alright, you think they could have given him more than one sound? Yeah, maybe. They want you to hear the same thing. Is that a lima bean patch that we just got? Enjoy your shower, Dalton. <laughs> By the way, and welcome in to you, sir.
Yeah, nice hot showers feel so much better during like the cold weather, obviously. Alright, next level. I think there's bosses at the end of each world, but I don't know. Big Bean Vine. been like raining windy cold but it's that time of year right all right kirby and the beanstalk here this music just like creates the vibe for this game like like, you can't get angry at this game. Like, there's nothing in this game that I think that could, like, frustrate me. Or make me angry. Oh. Dang. That's what I can do. Wow. Failures. There we go. I don't need to get this, but I wanted to because it was there. This is a cool level. Oh no, I ruined his balloon party. Oh well. Wait, wait. I need to hitch a ride on those. There we go. Come on, you can do it. Get out of here. Oh no. I wonder if I can get that treasure. There we go. Oh! Got it. It's the music. I mean, honestly, who wouldn't want to unlock the music in this game? Every Kirby game is a good time. Yeah, that's true. Everyone that I've played has been really fun. Uh, I never played the one on N64, or any of the N64 ones. I don't know what those are like, but I bet you they're pretty fun. I remember playing some of the original ones. Uh, one or two of the handheld ones I know I've played some of. Because uh, my brother, one of my brothers was really into the Kirby games. Oh gosh. <laughs> Giant caterpillar. Ah! Oh, I pissed him off. And I killed him. I played a little bit of some of the Super Nintendo ones. Um, I think there was one or two on the... I think there was one on the Wii U I played, too. So I never played like Kirby's Air Riders on the GameCube either. That racing one. Used to have a super soft Kirby pet bed, then they slept in his mouth and his tongue was the pillow. <laughs> That's so good. Do I work tomorrow? Are you going at four for truck? Oh really? Four? Wait, so you're doing- you are doing truck tomorrow, huh? Four o'clock? Oh, hell no. Nah, I'm off tomorrow. I'm going to get- um... I have to- I have to go somewhere, like, earlier in the morning, but... Well, not actually not early in the morning, so early in the afternoon, so... I had to get it- get it off. Four o'clock. Ah, oh, they're landing right here, so I can't get up there. Oh, there we go. Cloud pillow. 3DS. Yeah, I think... I don't know if I played any of the 3DS ones. I might have. Ooh, that was close. This level was great. I 
I only own like like three 3DS games, I think. But I've gotten a lot of mileage on like all of them. But my brother had some portable games. I probably played some on the DS. But you can't really beat the original one. This is probably my favorite Kirby game that I've played. We'll see how the new one is when that comes out. There was like... Yeah, there's definitely one on the Wii U that I played. Or the name of it. Look at that, it's growing. And this is the boss, yeah, here's the boss. Who's the boss? This is the boss, the cake boss. Fangora. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We need to, um... I need to look. It might have renewed automatically. I don't even know. I didn't set it up to do that, but it might have. I have to check. I haven't been on the Switch Online in a bit because I was just playing Mario Odyssey, but... But yeah, next stream, am I coming on yours? Yeah, we, we should play something. I'll have to hop on. Like, whatever you want to play, I don't even care, like... Be a good time. Let's puff the magic dragon. Just dodge these. Give him a little tongue slap. coming. Oh shoot. <laughs> Come on. I ain't afraid of you. Oh, maybe I am. Oh gosh. There, he's, he's defeated. Don't do drugs, dragons. <laughs> he does look like he's drugged out, doesn't he? <laughs> he was tripping. We got one magic yarn. We can just. Yarn and and swirled high into the sky. But we need other ones. So that connects that one. So the next one is that. Oh, it's, oh, it's the volcano one. That's next. I didn't think that was going to be next, but. It was like a treat land too, where everything's like cakes and cookies or something. Tomatoes. Yuck. Suddenly, the tree started rocking back and forth. Kirby thought it was an earthquake until he saw Prince Fluff shaking the tree. This is how we get food in Badgeland. Kirby tried to hang on for as long as he could, which wasn't very long at all. Look at all that, Fluff cried. <laughs> all his apples. So angry that he ran after Fluff. Why was he angry? <laughs> the end. Yeah, man. Yeah, enjoy your enjoy your work right now. It is a cool game. It's awesome. Hotland, like they could come up with a better name. Grassland, Hotland.
Pyramid Sands. The desert area. I thought this was later on, but... I'm pretty sure, like, the Christmas area doesn't come till... till much later. Ah, look at the mummies. That's good. More banging music. See ya. There's probably something down here, yeah. Dang, he had a lot of gems on him. Camel sofa, I want that for my apartment. Actually, I have a GameCube again now, like a... So I don't have to play my GameCube games on this Wii anymore, but... Of course, we'll always have Wii games that we can check out. I, I really like the Wii. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the motion controls, the way they're used in some games, but... Games like this that don't even like really use the motion controls are just so much fun. Rail shooters I have are pretty fun on the system. But, you know, the Wii does have a lot of fun titles. Oh gosh. I think it's still one of like the top selling systems of all time. Racing? Oh, I'm gonna need a blue shell. Rocket boost. This piano is going off right now. the music. Oh! Did we beat him? Oh, that was fun. Oh, we came in second place. It looks like this guy won. Now he's dead. <laughs> cool first level here. next in hot land this game's got a thick ass booklet too Ooh. Oh, like a pyramid or something what the heck lava landing <laughs> alright next one All these levels look, just look so beautiful, too. I mean, look at this. This is really great looking. 
This music's so good, too. You hear those, like, low keys on the piano? It's like all grand piano. It's like a little bomb, guys. Oops, whoa, whoa. Turn that off. Oh, this is all so cool. Look at those guys. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's one of these. Like this, like you have to follow this, and it becomes like a zipper or something. I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. Oh no! I fell in the lava. are we becoming now <laughs> a fire truck <laughs> oh, this is definitely the best thing we've been yet get out of here I was putting out fires. Man, look, they kind of remind me of, like Fry Guy. Oh. Okay, this is probably the best level so far. Oops. And one of these classic parts of a game where the lava rises and you gotta get to the top before it gets you. Yeah, I don't really care about all those gems. Out of my way. Imagine if Nintendo ever made a crossover game that had Mario, Kirby, Samus, and Link, and Zelda in it. Like, could you imagine? Like, they combined all the universes. Like an epic game. Oh shoot. Actually might. Take me up. Oh now it's going super fast. There's the end of the level. Yeah, that level was great. Christmas is in like 10 days, oh my gosh. 
And then New Year's, guys. Still got a little bit of Christmas shopping to do. And some digital stuff I gotta buy for some people. <laughs> cool cave. Are we cool enough to go in there? Probably not. So I believe there's like eight worlds in this. It's like standard, you know. Bats, there's always bats. Oh no. Man, I keep like over jumping there. Go back up. There we go. Oh, jeez. This cave is alive. <laughs> Trying to get one of these gems. No, you're not eating me. There's a treasure up there, but that's all right. Down, yeah, there you go. Oh, this is a freaking maze. Snows. Oh, shoot. No, no. There we go. Gosh. I 
Alright, now we gotta get across there. Dun -dun, dun -dun. Oh, that was... Dang. No, 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 don't fall all the way back down. Oh, no. Dang. Faster here. Not sure what to do here. Go here. Wait for this one to fall first. There we go. Now what are we? Oh, it's right, like the cotton thing. Yeah, you like get rid of all the cotton. It's like Dig Dug or something. Why is there like a fireball chasing me? supposed to get that. Oh, I see. If I go back in, I oh, can't. Oh well. I mean, this booklet is like heavy. This thing's like thick. <laughs> I think it's in like a couple different languages. That's why. the days of full manuals. What's the next one? Be a dinosaur themed level, maybe? Yep, Dino Jungle. Take me away. Oh, I was supposed to be staying on him. Oh, shoot. Wow, that really jets you back. Welcome back from your shower, Dalton. We're playing probably the happiest game 
that there is. A super fun game, no. No, oh wow, that was close. I thought I was gonna go all the way back to the beginning. You jerk, B. gonna jump over them. Oh uh, no. This damn Oh my gosh. I can't quite get up there. Oh wow, these bees <laughs> These bees are ruining our day here. Happiest game there is. That's me when you have nothing to do. <laughs> These bees are, are... Why is today a shitty day, Dalton? Better not be about the dog. Yeah, I'm just going to take the high ground. Oh no. Can I make it still? Yeah. Stupid bees, like. I don't think I can make it still. Oh. Well, at least you're deciding that as a family. That's what I kind of figured the news was going to be, man. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry. It always sucks. I remember when he made the... I couldn't even be in the room when we had to put my dog down. Uh, it was, like, decided, like, you know... You know, when it was decided and we went to do it. I was there at the the vet of course but I wasn't actually in the room I just couldn't I just couldn't be there when it was happening in the actual room me and my dad were the only ones who couldn't really be in the room but yeah it's better than having them suffer like big time when they get older Something over there. Oh, look at him, he's moving at a snail's pace. Whoa. Yeah, 15 is a good, I mean, that's a long life for a dog for sure. Um, it's about the expectancy. So we got probably an extra year or two out of my dog that we might not have expected, but she was really struggling her last year. 100 in dog years, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's a long life. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, man. The time comes after Christmas. At least I'll wait till after Christmas. We put... I remember we put my dog down, like, right before Christmas. 
It was like maybe like early December or something, I think, that we did. Maybe a little bit before there, but yeah, it was like kind of weird. So my dog was always like super excited for Christmas. Like she knew she was getting like presents. <laughs> she would be running around the room and getting all the attention because she would be like, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting some new toys and treats. Because she knew everybody gathering around meant that something good was going to happen for her too. Get her all kinds of shit for Christmas too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's great. Just to get her like toys and... She would like ruin like... My dog Toby would like ruin like half her toys like on Christmas. She would chew the hell out of them. Or she would be attached to one. And like not... And not care about the other toys. She would like latch on to one toy. For that day. And be like, I want to play with this one. And then the other one she just wouldn't give a shit about. <laughs> Oh man. Is this the boss fight? Maybe it is. I didn't notice if this was the boss door or not. I think we actually need those. Oh shoot. Screwing this all up. Yeah, there we go. Have some of that. And then you gotta watch out. Oh my gosh. How are you supposed to dodge that? kind of a difficult boss. You want this? Oh yeah, like what? Oh, the dog. Yeah, like saying like, oh yeah, I want this toy. I want that toy. They, uh, she would latch onto one. It was just a random toy and just like... Like this one's mine. She like want you to play with it, but at the same time, like she's very, she'd be very protective of it. Right. Oh, I see what we gotta do there. Just make it as good of a Christmas with her as you can. him. I don't know if your dog's a male or female, but and I have a my dog now is um with my living with my brother in Pennsylvania, so I haven't even seen her in because we have like a, we got like a new dog, but it's been a while since I've seen her. Can't really walk now. Yeah, that's the same thing with my dog. That towards the end, like she couldn't, um, she couldn't walk up and down stairs. We had to like carry her, and she would have a lot of trouble like getting up. And uh, you know, she was a fighter too. She like didn't like whine or anything. We got the magic yarn. Now we're going, oh, this must be treat land. Yep. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Yeah, I feel you, man, I feel you. Meanwhile, back in dreamland, the waddle 
these were very busy a lot of these. inside Castle DVD. Let's go. Hop, hop, no slacking off. Hopefully we can um just then. At least take your mind off some things every now and then on the streams for the rest of the month. Especially when it, if you have to do that. Day was alright. I mean, I worked for a few hours today, and then I you know, came home. I was like, I like knocked out for like a quick nap. And now we are streaming. Uh, I, was, I think Jessie's still at, uh, with her mom, so she's not able to play anything. I was gonna stream back for blood, but I was like, you know what? I'll just play this because I've been wanting to play this, and this is like a good game to play around this time of year. You fell asleep last night. Oh, you're, you're good. We um. Yeah, we, we played Odyssey for a little while. After, uh, cause Back for Blood, we we obviously couldn't really get to. Too much, so. Kind of the mindset that I, I want to go through the game with Jesse, so we're just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it when she's when she's around to play it, and anybody else that wants to join in at the time can definitely join in. Temper Temple. Wait, there's like that was like a mini boss. Hang on. Yeah, you were here for quite a bit of that one. Yeah, I mean that was the last game we played. But uh, we had the we have we didn't go to New Donk City or anything yet. We're gonna wait till the next episode of that to go there. This game's so charming. Get the fry, guys. Okay, this level's great. This is probably my favorite thing we've transformed into, is the freaking firefighter. This is awesome. Or the fire truck. Get a pyramid object. No. I'm gonna get you. Squirt. Shoot. Whoa. Oh wow. Get so many gems here. Thirty minutes after Wham left. Okay, so yeah, we weren't. Oh, I didn't think I streamed too much longer after that. Maybe I did. I, mean, I streamed for a while yesterday, but it was like broken up because my stream had like crashed. So I think it was technically probably around six hours of streaming altogether, because we did like maybe three hours or something of. Ocarina of Time, and then maybe three hours of everything else. A long one. Yeah, it was long. I mean, that's. Uh, I like. I want to start doing. You know, I have been doing some longer streams since I became affiliated. I want to. When I can, I do definitely want to do that. As long as I'm not too tired and we're enjoying the streams and the games, definitely do ones like that. I'm getting into the game, like, there's no reason not to keep playing it, like, there'll be RPGs that we play, and it'll be, like, long streams, I'm sure. Ocarina of Time, I've played some really long streams of that so far. It's been fun. This level's great. Come on.
Come on, piss on everything. Uh, I guess we're going this way. Quilty Square Music. Keep doing it like and people will follow. Like follows and follow me, but be around is what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You know, I'm happy that people like you have s stuck around and it, they've forged like friendships and whatnot. It's been awesome. That's what you say, yeah, you just keep doing doing your thing the way you like to do it. You'll attract the right people. And Boogie is here, speaking of forging friendships. How are you, man? They haven't accepted your emotes yet? Yeah, it might take a few days. My latest batch took a couple days to get approved. And then I had another one that was approved like within hours, so it's like really weird. We're playing a little Kirby tonight, Boogie. Epic yarn. Very, very happy, relaxing game. Um possibility I could switch games later there's always that I like you guys know I, I'm kind of like I've grown fond of uh, switching games midstream just to break things up so we play different different stuff in a night you know do a little bit of something and then a little something else so we have a chance to you know it gives me a chance to record episodes for different games and then knock out some stuff from other other games I said this game's not a very super long game, so um, one that we can beat in this month too while we work on other games. Damn, this music's going ham. Oh, we're gonna be the truck again. Okay, this is great. Here we go. To hook up my Wii. <laughs> I hate hooking up the week is because the dumb sensor bar, but you know, I guess it wasn't that bad. I want to win the race. Get out of here. Yes. This is another really fun level. I'm glad that they dedicated levels just to like some of these transformations as a whole. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, I think we won. Yeah, we did. Party time. It's like the party balls from Smash Brothers. <laughs> there we go. Where the sad news is, you're finally the best man. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's his dog, I know. It's always sad. You had a cat that was your best friend growing up as a kid. My parents told me it was to euthanize the cat. Yeah, things do happen. But pets, are, of course, are 
just as big a part of the family as anybody. We all know that. Wait, so what's next? Hot, wait, hot wings? Did I do that? Yeah, I did do that level. So what's the next? Are these just bonus stages? I think these are just bonus stages. I think we actually beat this world after that boss fight. Yeah, so we can go to treat land. So it unlocks like bonus stages too. I'm thinking like, why are there other stages? That's why they were just transformation ones. All right, toy tracks and treat land. So we're already to the third world. Come with me, car. They're playing catch, and now they're dead. <laughs> nope, there will be no monkey in the middle here. <laughs> the duck. Can pull this one. <laughs> you haven't played or seen any Kirby game ever. Really? So this is your first Kirby experience? If that's true, I'm glad it's this one that we're bringing to you. This is my favorite Kirby game I've ever played. Then I'd say the original one on NES is a close second, but... This one's super charming. Wow, that was rough. I'm supposed to get past this. Really? There's gotta be another path here. This one goes down. Wow, that one goes down before I can even go through, so there's no... Oh, there's a door there. I didn't even see that. Wow, I'm stupid. Dun, dun, dun. Oh shoot, remember these guys? You get them in the classic Kirby and you get their power. I said the one thing about this game is you don't get the powers from the enemies, you just morph into different things. Which is still fun. Go. I'm gonna ride the duck boat. The duck car. Come on. <laughs> oh. oh, that was close. These things are going to try and crush me. We need them to get up. Oh, gosh. Da -da. Go over there. Come on. Oh. There we are. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to make you sub tier things today, but I don't know what you would want. 
Sub tier things. What are sub tier things? I know it's like I don't get the whole like different tiers of subbing. Like why? Like what's the benefit of that? Like, like I don't want people to have to pay more for anything. Unless there's like I don't even know like what the heck it is. This teddy bear is sad. Really sad. And now it's happy. We patched him up. Here we go. Sub badge, that's what they are called. Oh, the sub badges. That's what the star is? Alright, here we gotta actually use the Wii Remote. What am I doing here? What the heck? Oh, that's right, you like draw the track. Kinda neat. Let's do a... Oh no. Well, we're not gonna make it. Oh no, we're definitely not gonna make it. Get up there. See if you can write my name. Oh shoot! Yeah, that's right. Get up there. No, don't go that way. Shoot. What? <laughs> Somehow we got that. Like, did like a flip or something. We're getting some passengers now. Yeah. <laughs> well, that happened. You made your own sub badges. Is that what you're talking about? Sub badges. Oh, can you customize those? Oh, I didn't even know you could customize those. So instead of having a star, you guys could have like... Whatever. The ass emote, right? <laughs> I know, what would it be for this channel exactly? It could be a lot of things. My channel points are musical notes because Banjo-Kazooie, one of my favorites. And I'm a musician, so that was like a no-brainer for me. Mushroom Run is next. Where's Jessie? She would probably love this level. How long someone is up to you, you can change the picture. Oh, cool. I yeah, know, that's pretty cool. Kind of shows how long. Cause I know some of you guys have been sub for the three months, which is amazing. You know, somebody subs for like a month. Like, I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> People don't have to keep resubbing, but um, it's just amazing that, that people are at all. And the gift subs you guys hand out, and just how nice everybody is, it's great. Just want to keep growing the, uh, the channels and just like, you know, keep bringing as many good memories Nostalgia to people with some of these older games. I am like Very grateful to be able to do N64 now and then we'll soon we'll be doing Sega Genesis, so I'm gonna need some good Genesis recommendations
Look at this, like, octopus here in, like, the Mushroom Kingdom. Can I get over there? No? Hang on. There we go. Here, mushrooms just hopped in. Oh, she is here. I'm glad you're here for this, Jesse. I was just mentioning, like, there's a mushroom level. And look at it. I know you'd love this game. It's a two-player one, too. Are you still out with your mom? Friend of mine has the Keyblades from Kingdom Hearts as badges. I like that idea. That's a cool idea, actually. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, I definitely would have to put some thought into it. One month, three months, it's a light bulb. Three to six is a light bulb with a flexed ass bicep. Six to nine, light bulb with two flexed arms. And 12 months onward, light bulb flexes hell with two arms, but it's gold plated. See, that's great too. So you got it all figured out. Me, I would have, I have no idea. I mean, I could do ones like of like my top, like, how you have it set up, like my top favorite games would be like, say if you're sub for, what is it, one to three months, I could do like my f fourth favorite game of all time, and then the third one would be, you know, my third favorite game, and then if you're 12 months on, it would have to be like an Alan Wake one, because that's my favorite game, and then you guys would, would know that you've been here. Your Twitch app went down for a second, sorry. Oh, no, no, you're here, Jesse. So you're still out with your mom? My stream lagged? Did it really? I'm sorry, guys. It didn't show any dropped frames on here, but maybe something did happen. We're in the mushroom land. Get up there. <laughs> Look at this game. Jesse, we need to play this game sometime too. We recently played um, Yoshi's Crafted World and brought it over there and she really liked it. At least I think you did, Jesse. I think you really liked Yoshi's Crafted World. Oh, shoot. Stealing my stuff. For you, it did. Oh, it did, huh? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it, it could be my internet, too, but... Everything seems to be running pretty smoothly. It's not lagging now, is it? Hopefully it's not, like, super choppy or anything. My OBS sometimes does not run good on my computer, like, as you guys know. So sometimes I can't tell if it's actually lagging or not. Unless I was like watching the stream myself. But it will tell me if there's like dropped frames and then I'll know for sure that it's lagging if I see a bunch of those. At Ross. Never know what you'll find at Ross. I want to go to Marshall's with you again. I love going, oh, I love going to Marshall's with you. Crystal clear. All right, nice. Thank you. Yeah, you got to get the deals. Hell, I buy some of my clothes at the freaking uh, thrift store. I don't even care. If I see something I like, I'm like, going to get it. I've actually, I think I found this jacket. At a thirster. Wait, was this one? Wait, Jesse, you gave me like two jackets. It was the black one and the jean jacket one. That's my favorite one. This, yeah, this is one I found at a thrift store for like a couple bucks. And I was like, okay. And it's, it's, it's comfy and it's, it's warm. You're too young to shop at those places alone. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You found a pink men's sweater with a happy mushroom on it. Will you wear this? I send me a picture of it. I might. I've been looking for a pink shirt. I tried to find a pink shirt last time I went in a thrift store, actually. I should just wear it to work and then get fired immediately. Yeah, Marshall's is great. Black jean. Yeah, the black jean one I like a lot, too. But then that blue one that I was wearing last night. Obviously, that's my favorite jacket now. I love that one. And it's so comfy. Like I said, guys, I am I'm a jacket guy for sure. Especially with thrift jackets. Alright, we are in the land of cookies and cream, or cookies and cake. Listen to this happy music. Oh, look at the gems. They're shaped like little fruits. Grapes and stuff. Alright. Can we get that? How do we get down there? Hmm. All these cookies. <laughs> we gotta be, we gotta be Dalton's chaperone. What's uh, what's up, Dev? It's a PP shirt. What? <laughs> what is? Found a pink shirt. I'll get it for you. There's a blue bear on it. There's a blue bear on it. You guys send me pictures of this stuff. <laughs> Just wear it on stream. Oh gosh, the flan is trying to kill me. <laughs> What's up, Dev? Nice to see you, man. I was looking for like a plain pink shirt or like a plain pink like tank top uh, um, I just want like some more bright color like a bright blue like almost like a like an electric blue color too shirts like I just wanted some more bright colors that's why I bought that orange t-shirt cuz like I wear a lot of black and gray which I, I will always do I love that but I wanted to wear start wearing like some brighter colors every now and then Uh, my gosh, the flan. Did we make it? Oh, look at this. Some gems. <laughs> Black and gray go with everything. Yeah, I know. I'm like... I just like wearing dark clothes, I guess. That's just more my my style, but every now and then I do like some brighter stuff. Or I'll wear like a white t-shirt with like jeans and like a freaking jacket or a long sleeve. I wear a lot of long sleeve stuff too. I like wearing like scarves and stuff too, but just like I just don't wear them that much anymore. I have a few, I have a couple scarves. What the heck is uh, this? Dun dun. Look at Kirby go. Ah, oh, we're going in. Zero had a P.O. box, I would send him stuff. He'd send me PP shirts. Oh, I got the cotton. It is going well, GDP. How's work going, man? You know. And then Dalton would just send himself. A 
If I ever got a P.O. Box, I would definitely do... Like, those would tie into my pickup videos, probably. I'd be like, alright, let's do one where... I show you guys this, the crazy stuff that Dev sent me. <laughs> I don't know what the point of... Where am I going here? <laughs> Just poke some holes in the, in the box, you'll be fine, Dalton. Where does this game want me to go? Maybe there's like a door in the cake or something? Do we need to reveal the whole cake? Oh, there. Yeah, we probably need to reveal that. Alright, so now we gotta go back. <laughs> you played that Unreal 5 Matrix tech demo after work last night, and man, it looks like a movie. Yeah, isn't it, like, insane? Like, I, I haven't, obviously haven't played it, but I've seen it on people's, like, videos, and it's, like, literally a freaking movie in a game. Like, I can't believe. That's just the tech demo. Imagine in, like, two, three years what that engine's gonna look like and how they're gonna incorporate it in games. That's truly, truly next-gen stuff there. I don't even know where I'm going here. I'm gonna go, like, down here, I guess. Just keep going this direction. Like, it's almost unbelievable what they've done with it. Excited to see what games get that, that engine. Can even afford to use that engine. <laughs> I know, Dev will send me stuff like that. That'd be great. Alright, hang on, let me see this photo. You can never reveal the whole cake until you are alone with the person you want to show the cake to. Or so I'm told. <laughs> The cake. Well, we good thing we didn't reveal the whole thing. When am I thinking of God of War? I'm not sure. Probably sometime next year. Like, I know I can say that because it's almost next year. Um, I mean, I got the PS2 hooked up, so we could do... I'm going to be doing more PS2 stuff. We just played Cold Winter, but... Um, I mean, if you guys want to see it, we could probably... Probably start in January or something. If you guys really want to see that, I know some of you guys really want to see that game. You see me play it because it's my first time. It'll be fun. Pink and white Miami jersey. Hang on. She's sending me a photo. Let me see what this is. There's an Inter Miami jersey there? That's kind of funny. What size is that? That's an MLS jersey. That's so random. You're gonna have PS5, Xbox with these cool ass realistic-ish games and you got Nintendo over here making the same stuff for the last 30 years and making ridiculous amounts of money. Yeah, Nintendo knows, you gotta give it to them though for, for knowing what they're good at, you know? They're going to keep putting out these Mario and Zelda games, and Kirby games, and we're going to love them, no matter what. They're not going to be as graphically appealing, or realistic, as you should say. The graphics are amazing in these games, but as this level's really cool already. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good contrast, but the Switch has, like, the fact that they're able to get some of these... Games that you wouldn't expect to be on, like, Nintendo systems. Like, freaking, like, Doom and things like that. Call of Duty, you wouldn't expect that stuff to ever be on, like, these Nintendo systems. Ooh, there we go. 
Nintendo has the best quality control. I mean, yeah, they... I, I would agree with that, too. Because, uh, you know, their games always bang. And it's not like... Um, you know, they aren't like... They're always finished, too, when they come out. There's no these patches and shit. It's like, when a Zelda game, when a Mario game drops, when a Mario Kart game drops, Smash Brothers, Kirby, whatever it is, Metroid, the game's bang. And you know they're gonna bang. You know they're gonna sell. Zero Miss is upon us. He still wants that. I gotta make that hashtag for you. It's a small. Hmm. How much is it though? Well, that's pretty cool because Inter Miami, like, I never see MLS gear in stores. If it was a Union shirt, I would be. I don't even care what size it is. But Inter Miami, that's very random. That's David Beckham's uh, home team. Hope it's not all graphics and weak gameplay. Yeah, that's that's another thing. It's like they could just be like great graphics and make like a very basic, like monotonous game, and it's like well. But I don't think so. You know, there's a lot of games with great graphics and great gameplay, so. I'm sure that they'll find uh, ways to make like open world games with that engine and give you plenty to do within the world. It's just exciting to see like, you know, where gaming is going. But to still appreciate the older stuff too, you know? Never forget, you know, the NES days and even hell, even like Atari and everything. You know, a lot of, you know, a lot of younger kids these days, they, you know, they don't know a lot of what gaming used to be like. Um, you know, maybe they grew up playing, like, maybe they, you know, maybe they were GameCube when they were a little kid or something, which is a nice way to start gaming, yeah, but the graphics were already starting to get a little bit better and games were starting to get a little bit more realistic. PS2 to PS3. It's just a tech demo. They can just implement the dual sense controls, the whole nine yards for Matrix. Yeah, they can do a whole lot with it. Is the Triforce wearing a hat? It is, Dev. Do you want me to wear the hat? Maybe I should make that a channel point. Redemption. 100 points and I'll put on the hat. Some games get too carried away with whack controls like Star Fox and Wii U. I never played that one. <laughs> I don't think I've really played much of any Star Fox game, come to think of it. I do have Star Fox 64, which I tend to play on stream. That would be my first time playing through it. I don't think I've ever even played it at all. Or if I have, it was very little. This level's like super chill. Let's get... I check for Uni merch every time we go to the stores. Do you really? That's so sweet. No way. I don't expect to ever see Union gear, like, anywhere in this state. I do have a Union... I have a Union scarf, though, and I have a Union flag. Like, a big Union flag that's, like, almost the size of my window back here. I just have, like, nowhere to hang it up. My union scarf is like stretched out across my my desk or my my dresser there. Actually, I should find a place if I could hang up my union scarf. I would. Dev redeemed hydrate. So now, thank you for doing that because now I know that my notifications are working. So let me have a drink here. Thank you, Dev. It was your mom's Atari, and she got a Sega Genesis and N64. The first ever system you bought on your own was your 360. 
Oh, that's cool. No, that's uh, good stuff to start with. Atari, I mean, is brilliant. And then growing up with Sega Genesis. Yeah, I didn't grow up with the Genesis, so that's that's cool that you did. I didn't grow up playing that. N64, yes, but... I think the first ever system I bought with my own money might have been... Ooh, that's a good question. Actually, I don't know. Might have been GameCube. No, maybe not GameCube. Maybe I think that was two. Might have been the original Xbox, actually. I'm not sure, though. I don't remember. <laughs> the Miami jersey is 25. Oh, no, forget it. No, that's too expensive. If it was like five bucks, maybe, and then I could just pay you back, but no, 25 is too expensive. Not for. Not for a team that I'm not, like, a huge fan. I mean, I like them, but they're not, like, my team, you know? Do you remember the first game you played, Zero? The first game I played? I don't. Um, I remember some of the first games I grew like, I played when I was young. Because I, I have brothers that are older and one that's younger. So I had, like, games from different generations growing up. Um, first game I played, I don't know. So my older cousins, they had like an Atari, I think, and like a, a Sega Master System. We were playing a Master System game. I, I couldn't tell you. I honestly couldn't tell you what the first video game I ever played was. Uh, I remember playing... Some of the earliest memories I have of gaming are like... And I played a lot of NES stuff when I was like a baby, basically, and like... I said my brothers had some of these systems too, and we had family owned some of these systems. Super Nintendo stuff, like Ninja Gaiden, and we're playing that, Life Force, the Turtles games on NES, Darkwing Duck. We're playing like Pitfall and Atari. What is this? Hey, Star June? Scheming to know his age. Oh, that's why you asked me. I don't even know. I don't know what the first game is I played, honestly. No. Did we get lucky there? What's this guy gonna do to me? Hey. I don't know which one he's in. Oh, he's in. I gotta guess which hat he's in. This is an interesting boss fight. This guy snatched it from you? Snatched what from you? The Miami shirt? <laughs> Were you holding it? I hope you weren't holding it. What jersey? What was the shirt that you were trying to get there? Was it the Miami one? He was like excited for the Miami jersey. That's good, Stardew. That's very good. Glad you're good. I might slip up one day, Boogie. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've, I've probably said my age before on freaking stream, I don't know. You'd have to go through, like, years and years of footage. It's not even, I guess it doesn't even really matter that much. What? I don't get what I'm doing here at this boss right now. There we go. Gotcha. This is a very cool boss, though. I don't remember how to fight him. So let's see what we get. We got the cards. There's so many basketball jerseys, too. I used to love buying basketball jerseys from, like, like outlet stores. I used to, like, actually collect basketball jerseys. Wait, what's going on? I'm going to blow up. Ring my bell. Now what? Out of there. I think he's a reseller. Oh, probably. Damn. They collect those things and sell them for double the price. Like it's Jersey. Miami Jersey.
What is he doing? Have that. Alright, what's next? Zero was 32 years old. Am I? Wow. Oh, this crap again? I don't like this because then I can't fight. I can't like hit him with this. But we can get a ton of gems. Look at all these freaking gems. You thought he was just an excited young man. Yeah, probably resellers. They probably go to stores like that just to get things that they can resell. That's how it is. Ooh, that was close. I don't know which one he's in. Oh, he's in that one. Got him. That was a lucky guess. What a sick boss. Lots to say in the gameplay. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You don't really know what you're going to get. You can get the same thing a couple times in a row. Yeah, scalpers and stuff. I don't know. I don't... Hey, you know, it's the worst in gaming, though. When people just buy gaming stuff to resell for... You know, if they're selling it for, like, the actual price. That's a different thing. But most resellers do it for... You know, more money, of course, especially when it comes to gaming stuff. And that's why gaming prices have just skyrocketed. I'm hoping one day the game prices level out. Less people care about older games. And more people just are, like, focusing on what's coming next. That way, you know, people that actually want the older games can get them cheaper. But I don't, I don't think so. I think it will just stay up. Because they're so collectible now. A cake eating and duel. That, Prince Fluff jumped into the cake as well. The two ate and ate and ate, but they didn't balance their eating very well. Star June, have you played any uh, Kirby games what before? If you're still here, the cake collapsed. A fan of these inside. ones. So everyone's favorite controller. Mine would be GameCube. That's a good choice. I mean, that's that's a good question too. Uh, favorite controller. I. Hmm. I'm going to go with probably the the 360 controller. I really like the 360 controller. It's very comfortable and it just it, I don't know. I really I just really like the 360 one. But GameCube's a very good. That's a very good choice too. All right, there we go. This is probably a bonus stage, but because that was the boss, so... Or maybe not. You don't remember playing any Kirby games. Oh. Um, yeah, you and Boogie have not played any. Yeah, the Kirby games are really fun. This is definitely a recommendation I would have for people. What it says? Oh, wow, you just looked it up. He can make a $25 profit. It sells for 50 normally 90 The Miami jersey? Damn. Probably because it's an inaugural jersey kit from their first season. They're only like a couple seasons old, that team. Because I think they have like a sponsor now on the front of their jerseys. Boogie says N64. That's an interesting one because I don't think a lot of people would choose that. I, I like the N64 controller too. People think it's weird, but I, I kind of like it. Jesse says N64 as well. Wow. Dalton says between PS2 and 360 for you, yeah? Those are good ones. Yeah, I'm saying 360 for me. Look at this level, Jesse. It's called Coco Station. We're definitely going to go in there. You bought your tickets for Spidey Man. Says, Dev, that's going to be... That should be an epic movie. 
Favorite, not best. That's true, yeah, favorite. I mean, I think the 360 probably would still be my favorite, but I, um, if I'm going with favorite, I don't know. My favorite would be the Dreamcast one. <laughs> is it my is it the best controller I think? No, but I like the Dreamcast. I mean the Dreamcast controller. That would be my favorite just cuz I'm biased <laughs> towards the Dreamcast, I think. Got to do this shit again. Choo choo all aboard Coco Station. Go through the flan. <laughs> Come on, speed up here. This is just a bonus stage, as you can see. I hate when he gets turned around. Get up there. N64 is a gem too. Yeah, it means a cool controller, no doubt about it. The only thing is the joystick always like dies. The analog stick. Oh, we got stopped by a chocolate bar. <laughs> More flan for everybody. Dessert is served. I don't even... I don't care where are we going now. Where are we going? No, no, no. Back that way. Hit that switch, I think. There's no way we're gonna get there. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh my lord. Get up there. No, he's going the wrong direction. There you go. Ugh. There we go. We're still stuck. We have to get this thing down. Oh, I see. Depending on how you... that way. If you swipe right, he actually travels that direction. But if you swipe it left, he actually will go to the left. So it's not about just putting the track down. It's about how you, which direction you swipe it. Oh, we gotta do this crap again. Get on there. Get on there. At the time, he doesn't even make it to the track. Come on, Thomas. How long is this damn level? chugging along. I'll look down at the chat whenever this freaking level is over. There we 
we go. We got the hot land music. Goodness me. <laughs> D-pad for the SNES, yeah. That's a good, that's a very good D-pad there. Too many, I've never counted, but it has to be at least 20 controllers. <laughs> yeah. She should do a pick of all controllers, but the cords would look like lights in Christmas vacation in a ball. <laughs> do it. You have at least six 360 controllers. I think I have two. I think the system, I have like three. Dreamcast controllers, three N64, three Xbox One controllers. Only like one of my Xbox One controllers works properly though, right now. It's annoying. The kids in Scott Bridge only wanted it. I saw him put it back because I think his mom said no. Oh, he actually wanted the Miami kit. Okay, now that's sad that he didn't get it. Yeah, you guys can go request stuff at GDP streams. Uh, he'll be streaming again this week. Him and I are going to try and uh, co-op something on uh, one of his streams, too, on the Switch. So yeah, I, I should be playing a game with him at some point this week. Uh, Darth, I'll get in one of your streams where we can... Where I'll be able to, like, play. Um, something on the Switch. Wait, have we actually gone to the next world yet? All right, Waterland is next. So I guess we can go there. Even though there's like another bonus stage. <laughs> yeah, Boogie wants a uh, perfect dark for the N64. I sadly don't have that game. Right, so this is a beach area. Look how nice this is going to be. Splash Beach. Your battery is about to die. Alright, well, happy shopping, Jesse. Be safe, okay? Text me um, when you can, I guess. With your phone's charged. Say hi to your mom, too. If you're still with her there. Bye, baby. Hmm. I grab back for blood and have a fourth person for that. Oh, dude, definitely. Yeah, you're more than welcome to join in on that. Yeah, like I said, next time Jesse's around to play it, uh, we're gonna we're gonna stream that. And yeah, if you have the game or anybody like Dalton, if you want to join in too, you guys are so welcome to to play. I would 100% rather play with friends and stuff and. Then go with a bunch of like random people I don't know. That so obviously this experience wouldn't be as fun. That's why I'm kind of waiting to play some of it. Yeah, Perfect Dark. I don't know how much that goes for the N64. I had the one in 360. I remember really liking that one, but I never played the N64 one really. We got some sleeping turtles here. Night, Jesse. Maybe she'll be on later if she's. If I'm still streaming. <laughs> but yeah. Let's see. I know, Boogie, you wanted to see Goldeneye, right? So we'll be playing. I promise you we will we will play Goldeneye. I'll try and do a full playthrough of it. If we can get through the game. I don't know how it's gonna be, but I was never good at Goldeneye. Where is this taking me? My goodness me. <laughs> the sun just winked at me. What's happening? Just kind of like float down. <laughs> I 
Look at his face when he has a parachute. He looks frightened. Oh, water rising. Go, 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 go. Sun clock. The best shooter in N64 was Goldeneye, I think. I mean, it's a great game. It really is. I wish I could still fill Private Lobbies in Friday the 13th. No, that was a good time. That game is great. Friday the 13th, yeah. It kind of sucks that it's kind of almost dead. Um, yeah, Goldeneye is fantastic. It's going to be a little nostalgic for me to play that one, too. Playing with random sucks squirrel nuts. It does, doesn't it? I mean, there's some games where it just, you know, like, Dead by Daylight, it's like, okay, I'll play with the randoms. Whatever, but like... And it's like a, a real... In a game like Back for Blood, like, I don't want to play with people. I guess I'm just too nostalgic for the days of uh, Couch Co-op to truly love, like, the online gaming. I don't get me wrong, I like online gaming. I think it's great. I think um, it's a good way to play with friends that you, you aren't near, obviously, and all that stuff, but, like, yeah, nothing beats Couch Co-op. Nothing. Got a moon clock. Oh! Oh well. Ride the wave. Oh, that's cool. Look at like the glare from the sun. That's kind of funny they put that in there. Don't fall. No, I want what's in there. The music. You played it the other day, on Friday the 13th. So I went over to your cousin's house. He had four games, Perfect Dark, GoldenEye. I'm going to tell you Mario Party, so those are nostalgia. Yeah, see, you don't have to own the games to have nostalgia for them. That's what I'm saying. I have nostalgia for games I haven't even played, but I've watched other people play. Yeah, I, like that was kind of like me, Boogie, too, because when the N64 came out, I, we didn't have it. But my, my neighbor had it, and we went to go over his house and play. And I just remember being like, like drooling over it, like, oh my gosh, this looks so good. <laughs> Back then, when I was a kid, I was like, ooh, Mario 64, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey, oh my gosh. So, we got one like maybe a year later. Well, you have Savini, Jason, and GDPs in the credits, what do you mean? You're in the credits. You're in the credits for the game? Wait, Jesse sent me some new images of shirts. Let me take a look at these. We have... Coral Reef like level, looks like. The blub blub ocean. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jesse. That shirt's amazing. She's not here. I just see the pictures that she sent me. There's a goosebump shirt there. Oh my lord, I would snatch that up. That's such an amazing shirt. I'm gonna text her right now. I wonder how much that one is. Sorry, she's like thrift shopping and. <laughs> Goosebumps. I didn't see that picture till now. It's a nice shirt though. Are you going to go to bed? Good night everyone. Have a good day or night. You too, Dalton, man. Thank you for coming in, dude. Hang in there. We'll be here for you. 
You know that. Try and get some rest, man. Thanks for coming in, too. Four people watched me finish Mario 64 at Toys R Us. <laughs> you had a crowd even back then. He isn't you're in the game. You have credits. Oh dang! Wait a minute. How is that? How are you in the credits? Like, what did you do exactly? Like, I want to know. That's cool, dude. That is so cool. That means you must be pretty psyched about the uh, for Gun Media doing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. That's gonna be coming out. Sweet dreams indeed to, to Dalton. Good night, my friend. Have sweet Kirby dreams. Now this is a good water level. You backed their game on Kickstarter back when it was called Summer Camp. Oh, before they got the rights. Oh, that's cool. So your name's actually in there. That's awesome. So you were part of the help of uh, making that game possible, really. That's neat. The flow. Oh shoot! I think we become like a dolphin. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Actually, you know what? For Boogie tonight, if Boogie, are you gonna be hanging out for a bit, or are you going to going uh, to do whatever in a little bit? Are you back there? Oh, I already read that comment. But yeah, the oil you have an oil painting signed by Gun Media. That's that's awesome. Dude, this thing slaps. Look at it go. Now we're playing Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> you you awake for at least four hours still. Okay. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna beat this uh gonna beat this world, this like water world. And then I'm gonna switch games. We're gonna we're gonna begin Goldeneye tonight. For Boogie, we're gonna we're gonna play some Goldeneye. I got the N64 hooked up still, obviously. I actually have the game right over there because it was just getting right ready to go at some point. So we'll start Goldeneye tonight as well. So we could almost beat this game in like one more stream, probably. The Christmas levels, I think, will be later on in this game, because there's like a Christmas-themed world or something. At least I remember there being like a bunch of Christmas levels in this. Ooh, we did it. We did it! This level's really fun, actually. Oh no. Wait. Oh, well, look at this. I gotta get that in there. Can't hit it. It's like stuck over there. There we go. Get in there! Shoot. Oh, gotta be kidding me. Wow, off the rim again. Not a very good shooting percentage here. Wow. Get it in there! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Gosh damn it. Gotta shoot it a little bit earlier. Oh, really? Why? Bricking everything. 
I think I gotta like jump with it. I'm trying to get the controls down for this. I'm gonna try from the other side again. <laughs> Somehow I shot it like so far from over here. I don't know how I did. Oh my lord. You know what? We're gonna get this. Let me see. It's only 8 in the morning here. <laughs> GoldenEye says Dev. Yeah, GoldenEye, you guys excited for some of that? Could I name all these game characters in which game? Oh, there's no way I could. Obviously, uh... I know maybe three of them. I don't know what the, the third one is. Only because you showed me, like, two of those games, I think. I mean, obviously I know Isaac from Dead Space. I, I can't I can't score these in there. Is there like a way? I'm trying to get more arc to like my shot here. This isn't the Wii Sports I remember. Hey, there we go. We got one. Oh, look at that. He's heating up. Oh, maybe I can like do that in the air and push it. Aha, there we go. This level was so good. I joined back to say enjoy the rest of your weeks and I hear you're gonna play Goldeneye, you bastard son of a bitch. I hope you enjoy yourself. <laughs> He's like, why didn't I open with that? Yeah. I couldn't let Goldeneye be the opening act, could I? Firebrand. Yeah, Firebrand is what, from uh, Demon's Crest? I can't, I don't know, what is that spider? But peace out, Dalton. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't be golden eye tonight, so we'll, we'll uh, definitely play some more at some point. So we we'll have a lot of games going on right now. I mean, back for blood, we have two more acts to finish. Still, those will take a bit. This game, like I said, this will probably be a pretty quick series, and uh, we're like more than halfway done with Ocarina of Time, and. Mario, we're, we're doing pretty good in. So. It's nice to play some, start some new games tonight, too. We beat Cold Winter in, like, no time. So we're going to finish this world when however many levels left. Secret Island is next. A spider from Zombies ate my neighbors. Oh. Oh, it's Firebrand from Ghosts and Goblins. That Firebrand thing. Why was I thinking Demon's Crest? Definitely not Jason. <laughs> That's what I thought it was, too, until I was until he showed me Splatterhouse. I was like, oh, the Splatterhouse dude. Lucas from The Wizard. Oh, The Wizard movie. That's cool. That's right. Yeah, Goldeneye should be quite the treat, guys, because I'm going to be so bad. What the heck? Don't know where I'm going. Behind the level, so... Yay. 
Oh, these freaking things, like Mario. Like Mario Brothers 2. Oh, shoot. Dead. There's like a secret over there, it looked like, though. Get over there, get over there. Dun, 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 dun. Probably have a couple more levels of this before we go to the um the boss. get to that treasure. Oh my gosh. Dun, dun. Don't pop those balloons. think it can get me from behind there. What the hell are those things? What are these? <laughs> oh, that was close. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no. You can make Kirby dance. Alright. Is that one? Oh, he sent me. Okay, I'm gonna check it out right now. Oh my gosh, that is. Damn, that one's beautiful. Oh, wow. I love how, like, the the camp's underneath of him. Like, the hue of the red and everything. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. That is badass. Secret Island. What is this thing? <laughs> deep dive deep. <laughs> dun, dun. Dun, dun. There we go. You're holding on to that one. Yeah, don't get rid of that one, man. Please keep that one. <laughs> don't sell that. You should, like, get that. Uh, you might. Do you have it framed or anything? You should get it, like, framed and freaking display that. What just hit me? Oh, it's like the electrical corals from, like, Turtles on NES. Is that lava flowing underwater? Get up there. Okay, don't touch that thing. It kills me. It's like a giant eel or something. Oh my gosh. And go up there. Get up. <laughs> and down we go. Get 
He's like a razor fish trying to get me. Oh, it's a, it's an angler. Oh gosh. I thought, I thought maybe I could grab onto its light there, but maybe not. There we go. Angler fish are so cool. I just wouldn't ever want to like see one. I don't know if you could actually like take one up to the surface in water and like actually like keep it alive. I think they need to be in like the deep pressure of the uh, the pressure of the, the deep ocean in order to survive. So it's kind of interesting how they can kind of study things in the deep ocean that they find, but they also kind of can't. You'd have to like be living down there with it. Maybe I'll study it and it's habitat more come on oh shoot we're gonna die we're gonna die speed up there we go just go just go a dolphin again please yes This really does remind me of like Echo the Dolphin. Got a mast. You like this level? Yeah, this level's awesome. It's a lot of really neat levels in this game. Great level design. So this is such a good Wii game. That was a tight squeeze. I made it. What the heck happened there? There we go. So what we'll do is we'll after we beat the boss in this area, we'll. Uh, take a break for a few minutes and then we'll put in a hook in the 60 the 4 to the to the uh, El Gato and we'll get going oh what is this thing chasing me now same thing Okay, this level, another fun one. This might be the best world so far, actually. Just because you get to be the dolphin. Echo is amazing on Dreamcast. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that one, recommending that one to me, like, a while ago. In a stream. Before we even, like, really became, like, friends. <laughs> I think I was just, like, in there and asked you about Dreamcast games. And you had mentioned Echo Dolphin on the Dreamcast is a good one. I don't think I've never seen that one in the wild though. It's probably pricey. Anglerfish, yeah, I was definitely the anglerfish chasing me still. I think. Freaking thing. Get in there. Oh, this is the boss here. Okay, so we're at the boss. And there's always like. Bonus stages, but let's oh shoot. No, I'm just trying to swim away. Capamari. So we're at the boss. So Golden Eye. Let me play that. I don't have the box or anything for Golden Eye, I just have the cart. Um Here he is. Look at that unibrow he's got rocking. I think this is what you do, if I'm not mistaken. 
No, yeah, you gotta like, you gotta unravel his hat there and then dodge his tentacles. Throw that at him. Grab some gems. Kind of a neat boss. Ah. Not as bad as the hands that grab you from, uh, the tentacles that grab you from Ocarina of Time in the Shadow Temple. Those guys. Oh, he's latched on to me now. Wait. Uh oh, oh, he's angry. I can hit him with this. There we go. Okay. That might have just been counted as one hit now. Oh my gosh. Can I do the ink thing again? Yep. Go ahead, do it. I dare you. Well, I dared him. Made him one of these. There we go. Is he dead? Oh, okay, we got him. Not bad. And here's Prince Fluff again. Fluff. Was he in any other Kirby games? Maybe. Maybe he's like a major Kirby character. I just don't remember. Alright. So search save. We did it. We got the magic yarn. We got the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. So probably, yeah, I think we're about halfway with the game. What's next? Oh, look at that. Perfect. I think it's it's the Christmas levels next. That'll be a good way to start the next episode before Christmas. So we have like the ice land. So we're getting closer to the end here, yeah. Maybe we'll try and beat this the next time we play it so we don't have to do too many episodes of it. Yin yarns. <laughs> that they got one voice actor for this. It's like a like a dad like reading a book to his kid, and like he's trying to like do all the voices of the characters. It's like the dark castle things. to introduce you to my brothers come back and see I don't care about this guy <laughs> I don't want to meet your family Snowland is next so that's perfect way to start the next episode there's the levels I really want to play right now Christmassy and everything so it'll be great uh, yeah that'll do it for first part of 
Kirby's Epic Yarn. What a fun little adventure this game is. Very, very neat game on the Wii. Um, thanks for those who've watched this part. Um, so I'm going to take a break, guys, and we'll come back and we'll play some GoldenEye. Start that up, and that should be quite the trip. Some nostalgia, especially for Boogie here. Alright guys, so I'll be back in a few. Thanks for watching the Kirby part of the stream and the video. <laughs> 